hey, hey, spring the face, simply tarot, look over my nails. Yeah, I'm giving them a break. Um, <clears throat> this is a reading for the sign of Aquarius. Um, first off, I want to thank everyone for your warm wishes, thoughts, prayers, light and love. Um, please continue to send that um, our way. Um, yeah, so um, I've been feeling a reading. Uh, actually several readings but this one here has a strongness to it so there was a sense of um, urgency of sorts so yeah I have pre-shuffled pretty much going to get into the reading and see what we get okay. justice Four of Pentacles. Tell me. Okay. Okay, Aquarius. You've dealt with a lot of crap. You've dealt with a lot of uh, mishap, misfortune, um, just to name, you know. I feel like you've dealt with a lot of people in the past who did not understand you. Uh, they did not understand the value of you. Therefore, that has got you really looking at what you need to cut out of your life. And that is learning your worth and your value because you're cutting out where others, they did not, you know, take you for what they should have. They took for took you for granted and okay. So whoever I'm talking to, you're learning your worth and your value. You're cutting out what no longer serves you. You're you're being done with it. Okay. Justice. Queen of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Death. Okay, what we're getting at here is basically you're doing what you need to do. You know, the Queen of Pentacles takes care of everyone, but the Queen of Pentacles also <sighs> takes care of their finances, their abundance, their, their home, their family, nurturing, loving, caring. In other words, you're doing everything you need to do for you. That's awesome. Now, when we, when we, you know, looked at the Four of Pentacles, we got the Page of Swords again. Because you're looking at what matters to you. What matters to you? What's important to you? And then we have here the Six of Cups. Looking back, nostalgia, looking at how things have happened, what has happened, memories, you know, reminiscing. Um, and what this is, is reminiscing on the truth. We have the page of swords. I'm drawn to the sword, the sword of truth. Reminiscing on the truth. Also reminiscing on what matters with our queen of pentacles. But then we have here with the death card, the four of pentacles. Look at that. There's our stuck card. Yeah. So, what this tells me with this eight of swords is... You're figuring out what has been keeping you stuck or what has made you feel like you couldn't move forward or what has made you feel like everything is just standing still or everything happens one way and then it goes, you know, it doesn't go your way. That's what you're looking at. You're learning to hold on to what matters with that Four of Pentacles. What matters most? There we got the Empress. So, let's see. A Ford look for Aquarius. A look for... Okay. Knight of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. Moving forward and giving where you need to give. Okay. Now, looking back... That's our nostalgia there. Okay, tell us. Yeah, judgment. Looking back and figuring out what matters to you, what doesn't. You, you get what I'm saying? You're doing what you need to do to move forward. 
and that's that's awesome that's you know that's forward movement even if it doesn't feel like it okay things are going to start looking better um, financially if they haven't been so get ready for things to be become more balanced because you've been doing the work if you haven't been doing the work and you need to strength is here to help guide you to help take you on your path if you have been doing the work you're going to know it things are about to shift things are about to feel um, more balanced and you're going i feel like there's going to be some form of news for those of you that's been doing the work this is going to be some news that okay tell me sorry that news that news okay that news this is going to be coming from someone that um okay We've got strength here basically twice because we've got the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands can be about strength. It can be about growth. It can be about movement. But then we have the Emperor here and the King of Pentacles. For some of you, this could be from a boss type, a, a boss figure. And it's going to take all the strength you have in order to deal with whatever this person has to tell you. The news is this is a boss. Okay. Ooh, okay, you need definitely going to have to find your balance if you haven't. Okay, what I'm seeing here is if this is a boss type figure, it's going to set you up. You're going to feel very comfortable. Uh, why strength is here is because you do need to find balance in your life if you haven't. Uh, but also, not only that. You know, the star reversed is not always about just not having balance. It can be about a longing for a wish, wanting something in particular and feeling like you just haven't had it. Um, and for those of you that, you know, this is about desiring that special person, you know, it's like you're going to walk right towards them. It's like it's, you know, and if you're not walking towards them, they're coming towards you. Now, for some of you, I feel like that if this is work-related, you're walking towards the right partnership, the right um, union, shall we say, business-wise, or um, whatever brings you money. Um, see, we have the emperor again on the bottom. You know, a higher power has heard your, heard your desires, knows what you want, knows what you think. Bring balance to your life. Bring balance to your thoughts. Bring balance to the time. And, and have what you want. It'll come. But you have to find balance. You have to, to balance everything out. And, um, you know, this has really got a beautiful feel, for it, feel to it. Because for some of you, this isn't even um, romantic. It isn't even work-related. For some of you, this is about a friendship. It, and for some of you, this is about a family coming back together closer. Uh, whether that has romance involved or whether that is um, uh, siblings or mother and child or uh, close relationships. So, yeah. Um, but for some of you, it is romantic. Now, let's see. I want to take you some other cards because I feel like that you know, this is going to be different for different people. It truly is. But our angel messages, you know, they tell us a lot. Positive recognition. Look at there. And then we have healer of emotion. So, with positive recognition, it says, Congratulations, your plans have worked out perfectly. And now it's time to shine. Brilliant new ideas will present themselves to you. And success is all about... Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. Okay. I sing this differently. It says here, success is all but assured. But what I was seeing was, uh, success is all about to be assured. See, that's an awful long difference there. So for some of you, 
it's about to happen. And for some of you, you know, it, it's all but assured. You see what I'm saying? Um, I know that may be a little confusing. Express yourself openly and honestly, knowing that those surrounding you are trustworthy. Be open to unexpected opportunities. Get ready. Something is about, I feel like there's some sort of news. I'm seeing the page of um, rods. For some reason, I want to say that. Um, yes. Okay. Some form of news. Now, we've got healer of, mo of emotion. This is a time to follow your heart and feel the fullness of your emotions. You may feel so compelled to nurture others that you forget to care for yourself. Flashes of intuition provide you with incredible insights. You or another person is a kind, tender-hearted, loving, and trustworthy friend. So, that is awesome. That is awesome. Um, seems like I want another card. What is it that Aquarius, um, okay, advice to Aquarius. Advice to Aquarius, please. Advice. Advice. Okay, advice to you. Let me gather them. These are our cards. Now I'm going to read them to you. We have three of acorns. Foresight and exploration. So you, I feel like with this being advice cards, you need to really, okay, if you look, this is a giraffe. A giraffe is very tall. So they have, you know, they have that advantage to be able to see things further than all of the shorter animals or all of the animals that may be more grounded, more down to uh, ground level. Um, so I feel like that, you, you know, you're going to be getting some sort of foresight and you need to um, really take that in. And you need to explore where you may have thought, okay, I'm, I'm not sure what that is, but to me it looks like an eyeball on this card right there. And what it's telling me is that with exploration, you need to look at things a whole heck of a lot different. Not only seeing things with foresight and seeing things that you you know you you may see that others don't, but it's about explore exploration, being ready to look at things that you may have once looked at them a certain way, maybe seeing them different, exploring the notion that things are not quite the way you thought you saw them, and then we have here two of feathers, decisions and direction. So, with these being advice cards, you're being advised, I feel like, to really think about the decisions you make and what direction they're going, you know, what direction will they affect. We, you know what I'm saying? Uh, look all around. And also, you know, with this being what looks like a little lizard that could possibly change its colors, could possibly blend in, Making decisions, I feel like, to not blend in. I feel like making decisions is important to be you. So if you, because what I'm seeing is I'm seeing a room, I'm going to be honest, I'm seeing what looks like to be a room full of, that looks like on the floor there's nothing but eggshells. Yes, because part of them are actual eggs. Um, so if you have been used to really going in everyone else's direction and, you know, making the decision to just be what everyone wants you to be, you're being told to be you. Stop just blending in. Stop just uh, being what everyone wants you to be. Be you. Let people love you for who you are. Let people see you for who you are. You are an amazing, awesome, awesome being. Let people see that. 
Now, we have number 20, Awakening. Um, renewal and Enlightenment. So, that is a peacock. And if you look at the beautiful feathers, I know they're not in color, but they still look beautiful. This is a feeling of really seeing yourself in a new light. And if you haven't, you need to. Uh, you need to have a renewal of how you look at yourself. How you hold yourself up. You know, um, do you look down on yourself? Maybe you hold yourself higher than everyone else and maybe you need to come off your high horse. That's for some of you. Or for someone in particular. Ah, dang. <laughs> I'm seeing number one. So, and you have to remember, these readings, they can be also about someone you're dealing with. Hmm. So, enlightenment. Being enlightened. You know, what are you being enlightened about that can re renew the way you look at yourself, renew the way you see other things, can actually awaken something that may have ended? That's for some. Hmm. I see what looks like a door. <laughs> oh my goodness. There is like, um, this door has a window. The window is kind of roundish around the top and then it's got a like straight at the bottom and then round around the top. Um, there's darkness. There's like, um, what looks like ground ivy. Or not ground ivy, but what's the ivy? It goes up trees. That's what it looks like. Growing all up it. But then, all of a sudden, it's like I see it. There's like a light on in that window. So, it's, it's almost like something that you, someone thought was dead is, there's an enlightenment about it. And it, it, there's a renewal. Okay. Enough with that. Um, I'm not sure who that's for. I feel like it's for several, but I don't know who. Nine of Crystals. Security and Abundance. So, advice. Right now, I feel like the advice is to really look after yourself. Really, you know, take into effect your own security. Um, you know, if you have family, if you have children, their security, if you have fur babies, and really look at your abundance and really look at a balancing, you know, and now if you have children or if you have fur babies, you need to balance your energy. You need to uh, not, in other words, not be a workaholic, um, but yet do what you need to do to keep things where they need to be. Now, we've got the chariot, number seven. Okay. Discipline and determination. You know, be disciplined, it feels like, with this being an act, an advice card, and don't know, I don't know why, I just almost said action. Okay, someone needs to take some action on something, and it has something to do with going forward. Movement. The chariot is about movement. But at the same time, Excuse me. There is a need to be disciplined in this choice. Look at things from a whole different way of looking. You know, that takes me back to that um, three of acorns there with the, the uh, giraffe. But at the same time, we have what looks to be like a rhino here with that horn ready. So you need to be um, disciplined but yet determined that you're going to have what you desire. That you're not going to settle is what it feels like. You're not going to walk on eggshells. You want what you desire, deserve and desire. You don't want to just be comfortable or feel secure. You want it all. That's meant for you. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. We got release number 28, um, and this is beautiful. This is a, you know, okay, I'm, I'm drawn to how her dress is like the clouds 
a flow you know but it's a beautiful flow so there's a need to to let yourself just flow let your light be bright and glow allowing yourself and others to flow be strong with your desires I'm sorry. Okay, I release that which does not serve my higher purpose with gratitude and love. So we just had our had a full moon. So you know, and you can release it any time that you want to. I, it, it's just I like to do it with the full moon or new moon, but you don't have to. You know, I, I've also done releases at any time. So yeah. Uh, write down what, that which you want to release and uh, go out or either do it inside, but you need to have a burn safe container of sorts and um, speak what you want to release, you know, asking the universe to release you from that. Um, burn it and thank the universe. God, thank God. Um, yeah, so that's what I've got. This is what I've got for you. Um, yeah, and let me look. I'm going to do a look-see for see through here. You know, this is a feeling like um, definitely no more eggshells, um, no more rush. You know, being you is important. And it's like you're finally seeing that. Even if it's not being that other people, you know, it, it, this could even be about family, you know, or such. It doesn't have to be romantic or where someone absolutely just done you wrong. It could be dealing with family or friends or such and you just got... The raw end of the deal, you know, and you got made feel like you were um, always not being able to express yourself or such. Um, in the extended, I'm actually going to look at, and you could be dealing with a um, Scorpio or a Cancer. Let's see. Yeah, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Cancer. I see that coming out big. Could be a Libra. I'll look at that and extend it. Um, let's see what else draws me into it. Leo. Could be dealing with a Virgo as well. <laughs> or a Capricorn. Also could be a fellow Aquarian as well. Or an Aries. So, in our extended, we're going to look at if you're dealing with a fellow Aquarian, a Cancer, Capricorn, Libra, Virgo, Scorpio, Leo, or Aries. I will look at those signs in the extended and just, you know, get a little bit of, um, what are they, you know, what's it about? What's their intentions? That's what I'm going to ask. Uh, I have, my Etsy shop is on, um vacation because I still have not got it figured out, have not got something um, fixed within it, so yeah. Uh, if you like the readings, thumbs up, please do subscribe, and um, thank you again for your prayers, warm wishes, um,
light and love. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time. Bye.